When a body is found on a bike path, when a body is found in a garbage tip, where a body lies under a bridge, over a border, in the basement of a suburban home, washed up on a beach, without her hands, without her clothes, without her name, the story can begin. Without her, there's no story, no cast off stitches at the wrist of a jumper, knitted rib by rib, neat. Without her, the cast fidgets and scrolls, unravels. The cast of light across the bank that held her breath falters, wintry. She set off for school. She set off after her nursing shift. She set off for the laundromat, as though all women ever do is set off, then someone stops us. Last seen sitting at the bus stop, last seen buying chips on her way home, last seen getting into a car with all the seeing of women, all that's invisible, hands, history, hopes, all that bright violence casts her into a place where there is no way she can speak, nor a way to leave. The gag, the lies. Without her clothes, there is nothing between her body and the lens, the watching, the want, without her. Gazing at the puzzle of her limbs, night after night, sofa juror, Uber Eats sleuth, amateur forensic crew. Now someone's cut out of her own life. Now someone who survived the raised arm, the blade, the wheel of falling strap, flinches. Now someone's secrets squirm and shriek, don't tell. What's as real as night terrors, sharpening their teeth in your body, flooding your blood the way a disused tunnel floods and flushes her body? to the bank. Police find your body and take it apart. The puzzle, the job. Don't tell them it was you. There's a skull buried under the apple tree. The bones of a hand roll up one by one from the deep dirt. When a body gives up its secrets, cell by cell, I sure as hell won't tell.